Okay, guys, here we go. Absolutely lightning start. Got a skull on the inside of us, but we're into the lead. What's going on guys, my name is Batidio and welcome back to Project Cars 2 and round 3 of the WSRC Group A Touring Car Championship. Uh, this week, as you can see, we are in Portugal at the Algarve Autodrome and um, as you also saw from that preview, the weather isn't brilliant uh, because the entirety of the, the qualifying and the race takes part in thunderstorm conditions. So yeah. Um, I've not really driven much of this circuit, admittedly, um, so mm, having to learn the circuit is difficult enough, but having to learn it in thunderstorm conditions just makes it that little bit harder. Uh, but yeah, so what we're going to do in today's episode, um, obviously we're going to take a look and see how things went in qualifying, not just for myself, but for the for the rest of the field as well. And then we're going to take a look at the race, so let's jump into it. Okay then guys, so um, take a look at qualifying and uh, this is what will be the start of my uh, my best qualifying lap. Um, it was it was a fairly straightforward qualifying. Uh, as you can see the conditions are absolutely atrocious and uh, this is pretty much the, the theme of the, the entirety of qualifying and the race as well. Um, the problems I had in qualifying, the first one was not really through anyone's fault, uh, just you know the, the, the look of the draw or the lack thereof. Um, was was traffic. I did run into traffic a couple of times early on in my first couple of runs, which uh, which scuppered those runs completely. Um, again, no one's fault really. I can't ask them to jump out of the way because they're on a hot lap as well. Um, so that was a little bit annoying. Um, the the other parts um, that I found difficult was a trying to keep heat in the re the rear tyres, but also trying not to absolutely destroy the front tyres because, as you can see at the bottom of the screen there. We've only done, what, three and a half laps near enough and already there's quite a considerable amount of wear on those front tyres. Uh, there are a couple of very um, deep uh, downhill braking zones which, which don't help matters as well. Um, so it was just a, it was very much a balancing act, trying to find the right amount of tyre pressure to keep heating the tyres without absolutely destroying them. Um, the other problem um, that we had, and this comes down to more the, the game rather than the conditions or the other drivers, um, it was the live track 3.0. As you can see, if we come through this corner here, can't get anywhere near the apex because of that puddle. And that was the theme. There was a number of um, very big puddles, uh, some of them on apexes. And that, I think that's one of the things that the, the live track 3.0 that uh, that Project Cars and, uh, and Slightly Mad Studios have been pushing and, and trying to improve upon. I think the one thing I don't take into account very well is the fact that a lot of these tracks, especially somewhere like here, which is probably a grade one listed circuit, will have excellent drainage and they will know where the puddles are going to be and they will take steps with regards to drainage to alleviate that. So uh, that was a little bit of, a, of, of an annoyance, but everybody has to deal with it. However, as we come on to the start finish straight, once again, as you can see, we are up quite a bit um, on our previous lap and the time is going to be a two minutes, two seconds Point nine two two. It did say nine one five there uh, for a second, which I'm not sure why, uh, but it was a two o two point nine two two, which at the moment would put a second place. But however, come the end of qualifying, as you can see, Popeye came up with an absolutely stellar lap, uh, a two o one point five, which was a good one point three one point four seconds faster than ourselves, and also uh, six tenths of a second faster than Payo in second place. So um, overall, I'd say it was a pretty good qualifying. You know, in what was difficult conditions, I'd say it was a pretty good qualifying for us, and uh, I was I was happy with it. Would have liked to have obviously bagged pole position, but obviously Popeye and Payo are very very quick racing drivers, so. Um, 
you know, I'm happy with third place as things stand at the moment. Uh, looking at the rest of the field, as you can see, uh, with Popeye and Peo in uh, first and second, then myself in third. We've got Silver Wolf in fourth. Uh, Colonel Red Eye uh, sits fifth in his Audi, uh, along with Hotshot Kev. Uh, looking at seventh place is Atreus, the current um, championship leader. Uh, then we've got eighth place. We've got uh, Mitch in his BMW. And then we've got Tom in ninth. Uh, Matt Jeffrey in 10th and the one driver we can't see at the bottom is uh, is Twisted Tire Fitter in his Cosworth sitting down at 11th. He said that was a real handful to try and drive and get around this circuit. Um, we are missing a couple of drivers from the last couple of uh, from, that have competed in the last couple of weeks. The first one being BMC. Uh, I'm not quite sure why he wasn't there. Um, he uh, So why he missed this round, unfortunately. He did though. Um, he's had a couple of very good qualifiers and then just not really had the look in the race and that's disappointing. Uh, the other driver that is missing uh, is is Laz. Um, he normally drives the second of the yellow BMWs. Unfortunately, um, he suffered a loss uh, within his family. So, um, deepest condolences from myself and the rest of the guys at the WSRC. There, we hope uh, we hope you uh, you're hanging in there, and we hope to see you back relatively shortly. Um, but. Yeah, take a look at the, the league table now, uh, just before we jump into the race. So, uh, as we mentioned, Atreus is currently still leading with 32 points. I'm in second with 31. And then we've got Mitch in second, uh, sorry, third with 29 points. Matt Jeffrey and Peo on 26 points apiece. Uh, today's pole sitter, Popeye, on 25 points. So, we've got Twisted Tire Fitter, who started at the back of the field, on 20. We've got Hotshot Kev, Colonel Red Eye, Silver Wolf, uh, Laz, and BMC, the two drivers that are missing um, from this week's race, uh, are tied on 10 points and then we've got Tom there with five so yeah um, like I said it was a pretty interesting qualify it was a pretty tough one but uh, nothing compared to what's about to happen in the race so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to head down to the grid we're going to get the race started and we're going to see what we can do okay guys here we go Absolutely lightning start. Oh, we've got a skull on the inside of us. But we're into the lead. How long we can stay here, I'm not sure. This bloody corner. Okay, well that's lap one complete, probably around 14 more to go.
Got all out of shape through that first couple of corners. So easy to do around here. I also am going to have a decision to make in terms of pit stops and tyres. Because uh, the fronts especially are susceptible around this place. But I think as long as the guys behind stay out, I think I have to as well. What doesn't help tire life, of course, is these long corners that put a lot of load, especially on the, uh, the front left. But we are starting to pull away a bit now. 1.5 seconds is the gap. It's just about staying composed and not making mistakes now. I think he had a bit of oversteer coming out of the, uh, the second to last corner, but he's uh, taking time out of us. Yeah, he's a lot closer now. Might have to start going defensive at some point on this lap. Oh, I think he's had a boo-boo. That could be the gap and the bit of fresh air that we need just to uh, cement this lead and see us through the last 20 minutes. We're a third of the way there at the minute. What it also means at this point is we can pretty much set the pace, I think. Because everybody else is going to be pushing hard to try and catch us, so... Hopefully that means they can just... Uh, spend time trying to... Ruin their tyres catching me. I can just try and conserve mine to be, give me the best possible chance. The pit stop itself will be a quick one because it's just going to be tyres. As you can see in that top corner, the left corner, Peo has just retaken second place. Oh, he, he did for a second and I think he may have just had a boo-boo like we're having now. Oh, it's getting really difficult to get through that corner. But our lead's increased because of the squabbling behind us. There's three of them all in a pack, so this is only helping us. I 
And right now, as I said, it's just about trying our best to manage the tyres. Especially into these downhill braking zones. I think if we're going to win this race, it's going to be due to consistency. We showed it last week when we had to come back from last place. Oh, there goes Payo into the pits. That may start a chain reaction. But I think at the minute we're racing Popeye, the winner of week one in Brands Hatch. It's him we're going to have to keep an eye on. Popeye is catching us. Well, hopefully he's pushing. He's going to make him uh, have a boo-boo somewhere. Will these tyres go another 10 minutes? Mm, that's the tough one. I'm not sure. I have, I have no idea. Like I said, I think at the minute I'm kind of waiting on Popeye to see what he does. I think I can stave him off for now as things stand. But if he pits, then we're going to do the same. Okay, so I've made the decision. I'm going to the end. There's no point in pitting now. I'd never be able to uh, catch up again. And considering it takes two minutes to finish a lap, I think we've got three laps left, so... It's about a run to the end now. Three laps to go. Hopefully Popeye pushes himself into a mistake somewhere, trying to catch us. Again, that corner's cost me time.
Okay, so I think this will be possibly the last lap. If not, it's the penultimate lap. I'm not quite sure how it works. This is the last lap. We do have a back marker to negotiate, I think. And he's letting me by here. Thank you, Tom. Good lad. Well, guys, we started third. We made an absolutely lightning start. But in Portugal, we are going to come across the line to win our first race. Yes, get in there. Come on. You can call me the Rain Master, boys and girls. Because I just put on a clinic today. <laughs> uh, fantastic race. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely made up. First win with the uh, WSRC guys and uh, it was a tough one but uh, yeah so let's get to the post commentary shall we so there you have it then guys round three in Portugal in the books and our first win of the season and um, absolutely made up about this it was a really enjoyable race a tough race though um, obviously given the conditions and the other circumstances the tyre wear as well but uh, yeah, uh, we had a bit of notice with regards to the rain and I thought, you know what, I think if I can be as consistent as I was through at Donington and, you know, not have an accident on the first lap again, uh, then I think maybe we've got a good possibility of winning this race and um, there you go, we did win it. Uh, I think on another day it probably could have been a little bit different. Obviously Popeye was very, very quick. He had the fastest lap of the race and he got pole position and without his problems in the early part of the race, I think there's a good possibility he would have won that race uh, by maybe quite a margin actually because he was very, very quick today and you saw how quickly he chewed up that lead I had. I think it was 10 seconds at one point. By the end of the race, it was down all the way to uh, just over two seconds but uh, uh, regardless of that, it was a very, very good race, a very enjoyable win. Like I said, the tyre wear was pretty tough on his and uh, there was some decisions to make. I think if Payo, after his pit stop, had started coming back through the field, I think everybody else ahead of him would have pitted as well, uh, just to try and cover him off. But uh, but that didn't play out how he wanted it to, unfortunately. Uh, and that's the way uh, the cookie crumbles, I suppose you could say. Uh, looking at the rest of the finishes, as I said, we've got ourselves, uh, myself first, uh, Popeye second. We've got Colonel Red Eye getting his first podium of the season, so a very good result for him. Uh, coming in third. And we've got Matt Jeffrey in fourth in another Audi, and then Mitch in fifth place. Uh, you've got Silver, followed by Payo, who I said did the pit stop he made didn't really shake out for him unfortunately uh, so that's kind of unfortunate because he was very very quick this weekend but I'm sure he'll be back uh, next time around uh, we've got Twisted Tire Fitter in his Cosworth in 8th place uh, Tom in ninth place in his BMW and Hotshot Kev rounding out the finishes in 10th uh, Atreus unfortunately uh, got disconnected so he didn't finish the race which is again unfortunate because he went into this round uh, leading the championship of course uh, but on the on the uh, on the subject of the championship let's take a look and see how things are sitting at the moment and uh, as you probably guessed considering we were second when we started 
we are now top of the championship table. So uh, we're a good 12 points ahead of Popeye, but only three rounds gone. We've got another seven to go, so it's going to be hard to stay there. But uh, yeah, I think I'm just, I'm just going to bask in my being top of the table at the moment and just enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, like we said, we've got Popeye in second with 45 points. Mitch moves up to third with 40 points. We've got Matt Jeffries managed to separate himself from Payo uh, on 39 points, but only by four points because Payo is still there with 35. And we've got Atrius who only picked up a point today, which again really disappointed for him because he was top coming into this uh, race. So that's uh, sad for him, but I'm sure he'll be back and uh, back on it soon. Then we've got Colonel Red Eye, Twisted Tire Fitter, Hot Shot Kev, uh, Silver Wolf, uh, Tom, uh, and then the bottom two, uh, Laz and BMC Racing, who unfortunately weren't here competing this weekend, but we hope to see them next time out. Uh, speaking of next time out, we'll be travelling to Alton Park, where there is the good possibility that there will again be rain. So, it could even be worse, actually. You never know, because considering how bad the weather has been in England, we had snow through all of this. You know, the beast from the east uh, has been attacking us recently. So you never know. That could play a part in the in the race as well. But uh, we'll see. Uh, but, yeah, that's the end of today's episode, guys. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, you would like to see more Project Cars 2 or race content from myself, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you want to get involved with the guys from the uh, Weekly Sim Racing Championships, they do have a, uh, a Facebook page there's a link in the description and they they run um you know weekly sim racing championships as you would imagine on not only playstation 4 but also on pc as well so if you're on either of those platforms and you want to get involved check out the link in the description tell them Matinio sent you uh, but again guys thank you everybody so much for watching uh take care make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, i'll catch you next time out where we're heading to alton park peace